Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Life with Benizda. I know it's been a long time, I know I've been away for like forever, yeah, uh, a lot has been happening, like life has been happening. So I'm back, Life with Benizda is back, I'm better, you can see from like the way this video looks and everything has changed, yeah, so I'm back, I'm better. I thought it was like a kind of catch up video to just like, you know, feel you guys in on some of the things that's been happening, the highs, the lows in the past four months, because I know like you guys love to catch up yeah and, and that's why you're here yeah content <laughs> yeah so um all of that is coming right up i know i told you guys i was going to be giving content like every other every other week yeah but like i think i did it for a couple of months and then i kind of like you know got really into a lot of things like work etc i know consistency is key Laziness played this part. <laughs> Sometimes I was lazy. Like, you know, it takes, like, for content creators, like, you need to give them a hand because, like, it's, um, it's, creating content is not easy and then having to create it and, um, edit it and, you know, do quality control and all of that. Like, it's, it's usually a lot. So I know you're asking what's been going on. Well, I'm going to give you guys the tea. Anyways, that's why, like, we have this channel. So I'll give you the tea what's been happening. So I'll start from, um, the most exciting, should I start from the most exciting and uh, my highest and my lowest moments in the past few months? So the lowest part of the past few months for me has been like, you know, I've, there's been a lot of transitions that I've been making, like I've been making a lot of changes to my life, I've been making changes to my diet, uh, I've been, you know, making changes to my lifestyle, my career. So I, I've made like really bold changes to my life and for most of them, they were not really easy. Those were the lowest points of the past few months. Uh, I'll give you specific details coming up. And uh, so the highest moment for me has been literally um, like changing career paths. So I used to have like a nine to five and um, over the past few months, I decided to leave that and set up my own business. Yeah, it was a bold step, <laughs> but I've had that coming for a long time because I realized I, I, I became more, um, and in the past few years, I became very entrepreneurial. I started to see things from a very, like, oh, okay, uh, what, would, what would it be if I owned a business? How would I, 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 I realized, like, I wanted to do things for myself. I wanted to add value in areas that I was most passionate about. And I decided I could build the value so that I'm able to control the story, so to say. Yes, yeah, so that's it. So I started my own business. Uh, a marketing and communication consulting company. It's really exciting and a couple of projects that I decided to take on independently. It, it's really exciting for me, you know, just leaving your 9 to 5 and saying, okay, you know what, I see this potential and, you know, and I want to, I want to focus on it, you know. I'm happier, I have more control of my time and I'm doing the things that I love. So it has made me really excited. So for me, money is a huge motivating factor. So if anything that brings more money makes me happy yeah so it's been a high point for me and then in terms of fitness you know uh i think i decided to take fitness more um i, I decided to take it more seriously because i realized for me so it started off as trying to lose weight and just look nice but then on just going to the gym daily even if i do 30 minutes or one hour i just realized the gym has become a place for it has become my my safe space where I'm able to think, I'm able to reflect, I'm able to connect. So most times I'm at the gym and I'm talking to the people that I love, like family, friends, while I'm like working out. And then other times I'm thinking about, well, what's the next thing I need to do for my business? What's the next thing I need to do for myself? Oh, where should I take a project I'm working on? What is the other way to make it better? So it's, it's working out is strategy, is strategy time for me. And it's also, it's just, and so you feel you start off to feel healthier because i had um some health issues i was uh, I, I was I, I, I was i was battled with in the in the past but i realized that you know as i started to work out i felt healthier and yeah i felt better about myself and that's, and that's i think I'm, I'm three months down the line on fitness so and it, it, you're, you obviously can't see anything here, but I, I, I enjoy it and I'm always excited about it, you know. I'm now fascinated with my gym fashion and just, you know, trying to look pink to the gym every time. 
and uh, yeah so every day one hour of my time is gone focused on fitness and i love it so fitness my business and then i've made um amazing friends in the past few months you know it's just been it's just been like thinking i had to do like a life i had to do a what's the word now i had to do like an audit a relationship audit where i thought about all the people in my life like who are the people of most value who are the people that i love the most and how do i make my relationships with them better and uh, yeah yeah so i did that relationship audit and i realized most of the people i had in my not most of the people i realized some of the people i had in my life i shouldn't really invest as much emotions or as much energy as i do. and then most of the people who actually add value or make me happy i'm not giving them the time that they deserve so i did an audit and then i started to prioritize and i feel like in terms of relationships friendships i'm really at a good place yeah but how did that stop me from creating a video i don't know how that did but it was just a transition process and at that point getting a camera in front of my face was not one of the things that i wanted to do so yeah so i just didn't feel the need to wake up and create content yeah but that's I, i'm guessing that's all in the past now yeah so i'm excited about this video and then i'm i'm going to try i'm not god i'm mad so i'm going to promise you now but don't take my promises too serious because i could fail you but i'll try as much as possible to release content i have this video coming up uh already shot with um, um one of nigeria's youngest and most influential influencers so it's coming up i think it's coming up next week uh, and then there's a couple of content planned for the rest of the year i'm going to be very intentional about the content that i'll be putting out so i'm trying to make the content more mm, more more effective okay this is me chatting rubbish so I'm, I'm going to try to make my content more more helpful to people more relatable so anyone who's just watching my video and you're just trying to have a good time one take home should be like just keep it moving literally like don't quit quitting is not an option i don't know that it's one of these things that motivational speakers say but wow well, like actually don't quit like <laughs> there's no other option like don't quit just keep it moving like whatever you're doing like try to make it better and if it's too toxic get out like do something else but don't stop doing stuff like it's in the doing that you find i feel like it's in the doing that you find happiness that you find fulfillment that you stumble on what it is that would probably make you happy or change your life so just don't stop doing if you're in a place in your life where like you feel like your relationships are toxic your job is toxic you know like just you know just take take a break like go on a vacation like leave them leave social media like just take that break if it's toxic just leave and I think this, it's one of the things that's helped me, like toxic relationships, I don't show them away. And the final take on my have is like, just have fun, live your life, be happy, because all of this thing, I feel like I've had like a different, the past few months have given me like a different perception about life. And then the pandemic and everything with friends, with the losses and just everything, it just shows how, you know, you're, you're, you're alive to live, literally. So like why live and not be happy? Why spend the short time that we have on earth doing the things that don't make you happy or being with people who make you feel bad about yourself you know just always live for live in the moment just like enjoy life do the things you need to do take all the adventures you need to take just do everything and yeah and yeah hopefully that makes you happy that makes you more fulfilled and that's one of my catch-up episode i hope you had a great time and if you have not subscribed to my channel please do that now like i'm literally watching you subscribe to my channel and then um, feel free to tell your friends and your friends of friends because they're all on a great treat <laughs> because they're all in for a great treat on my channel life with beniza thanks so much for watching and have a great week bye